Alright, so let's get into it. Why bother with Revit on a Mac? Well, maybe you, my friend, are like me. You love the Mac for its design capabilities, but you need it to work with Revit. Uh, it's really, this M1 chip has been great with programs like Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, InDesign. It's just been flying through some work. I've been using it for a week, and it's really great. Let's say uh, you want to be that guy on the Zoom call who's got the PDF open, who's just zipping through this, impressing the client, impressing the boss, everyone else's computer is just creeping along uh, like, a, like a little t turtle out there, can't get through these files because they're too big. M1, no problem. However, you want to be running Revit, and until now, Revit has not been working with the new M1 chips. Well, that has all changed. And how, how did it change? How did we get there? Well, take a look at the bottom of my screen, and you will notice this is not just Windows running, this is Windows 11. <laughs> Hold up now, you're saying. Windows 11, that doesn't work. Uh, what about the TPM protocol? It's, it's protected, security protected TPM. I tried it, I tried to download it. Well, just do as I did and follow Savvy Dan, Savvy Dan the man, and he will guide you on how to get Windows 11 running on your M1. Just follow his video here, and what you gotta do is become part of the Windows Insider program, which is pretty easy. You just sign up for that online, and then you go to download the Windows 11 uh, beta. It's not gonna work, <laughs> it's not gonna download. But Dan shows you how to get around that. You move this TPM file from one folder to another, then when it hits 8%, you drop it back into the original folder during the download, and then you're good to go. So it just kinda bypasses the security protocol. And then, you're going to be right back on it, and you're going to have Revit running on Windows 11 through Parallels on your M1. Uh, and you're going to be zipping back and forth between Revit, uh, between your Adobe programs, your rendering, uh, and uh, all the other things that you enjoy with your Mac ecosystem. So uh, I've been using this for about a week. I haven't had any uh, major problems. It's been running very well. This is the sample project, and you can see uh, everything's running smooth. And the graphics look pretty good too. Uh, here's the here's a larger file, uh, one of mine for a client, and this is a little bit larger of a file because I have some point clouds in here. Uh, point clouds might slow your file down a little bit. I did have the only issue I've had so far uh, with any performance whatsoever is running a very large point cloud on an airport project and that did uh, uh, kind of crash the video card and the RAM. So if you're gonna be doing that, I would be getting the 16 gigabyte version and uh, you'll, you'll have no problems. I had the 16 gigabyte on my Intel Parallels and ran that for several years and never had any major issues. So, yep, uh, just follow Dan the Man, his plan here, and before you know it, you're gonna be up and running uh, with your new M1 running Revit. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this as much as I do, and have a good day.